Power in Korea and today I wanted to make a video about you know kind of how Korea changed my perspective when it comes to K-pop. So if you watched my video um, about you know how K-pop concerts are different in America versus Korea then first off you're gonna see I'm wearing the same outfit because this is the same day and I'm not changing my outfit you know you're just gonna get what you get. Um, second I kind of like stated on why I'm not into K-pop as much as I was the first time I went to Korea and kind of just how it shaped me into a slightly different person. But yeah, I'm just gonna give some really quick reasons on why I'm not into K-pop as much as I was the first time I went to Korea. So just a little background, I went to Korea twice so far and I'm going again in five days, yay me. Um, but yeah, so I went the first time in 2016, I was a student at Yonsei University. The second time I went in 2018, and I was a teacher at a private school, and I'm going again in five days, and I'm also gonna be a teacher at a private school. So I feel like I've been, I've got some experience in Korea, I guess. Um, but yeah, the first time I went in Korea, I was all about seeing every K-pop related thing imaginable, like that, like I had to see everything, concerts, radio shows, fan signs, like I was there. But the second time around, I went to one concert and I was good to go. I was like, yeah, I've seen all I need to see. So I'm just gonna give kind of the reasons on why I feel like my, you know, perspective on K-pop has changed. So when I first got into K-pop, I was a senior in high school. And so, I don't know, it was just like something new and exciting to me. And I was like, ooh, the boys are cute. The music is good. Like I can dance to this. Like it was just something I'd never experienced before. And I just really fell in love with it. And like I went to tons of concerts and everything and I've got really into watching all of the like radio shows and like game shows and stuff with them on it. Like I was addicted at this time to K-pop and so when I went to Korea the first time like I was all about seeing all this stuff. But I really feel like my you know thoughts on like K-pop changed and I feel like the reason is because first off you know a lot of my groups are just kind of dying out now like you know what I mean like they're just not as popular or you know they're breaking up so my favorite group is BAP if you can even see in the background back there I got my little light stick like I love BAP they were my first group that I fell in love with and those are my babies those are my hearts and soul even though I am not still currently that into k-pop like I will always have a like soft spot for BAP forgot to mention even got a little whatever this is. Um, so yeah, I love, love, love BAP. But um, yeah, even though I love them with all of my heart, right now they're kind of breaking up. Like their contracts are ending and everything. And so I feel like, first off, I'm very happy for them that their contracts are ending because they were in like the worst situation ever. But with that in mind, like I feel like after I kind of learned, I was like, wow, you know, these groups are going through so much hardship and then you kind of like listen to their music and like read the meaning behind the lyrics and it just sounds like they're really struggling and going through a lot of pain and I just, I'm like, wow, I'm sitting here giving my money to this stuff and they're suffering. And so again, I still love BAP and I participated in all that stuff, but it kind of just put into perspective for me like, they're not having a great time. Like when I was watching videos of poor young Gook having like an IV in his arm and being forced to go out and dance and sing, I was like, that's just not right. So I feel like my thought process just changed a little bit. And I don't wanna say that I grew up because I also dance to some K-pop. I don't care, like if a song is catchy, it's catchy, but it just made me, I don't know, feel a little bit differently about listening to it because I knew they were suffering so much. All right, so another reason my ideas on K-pop have changed is because I just don't have time for it anymore. Like, I am just so busy. Like, when I teach English in Korea, I'm teaching for like 10 hours a day, and when I get home, I'm exhausted. I also don't live in Seoul anymore, which was like a really convenient place to just go out and like just see singers on the street and just, I don't know, it was just a good place if you were into K-pop. So since I'm not in Seoul anymore, and I feel like I just don't have the time because I'm so busy and exhausted after work, I'm just not getting into the groups, like the new groups and things like that that are coming out. Um, I don't really have time to keep up with my old groups either because I used to watch all of their like shows and now I'm just so busy that I just don't have time to keep up with it. And so for me, it kind of just, whatever this is, like my interest just decreases because I'm not keeping up with it anymore. So then if I do try to, you know, look up some things that I'm like, oh my gosh, I've missed so much. And I was like, 
you know what, I, I just don't care anymore. You know, I love my one group that I love with all my heart and that's gonna have to be good enough. So another reason that I feel like my interest in K-pop has kind of died out is because I feel like Every time I'm out and about, you know, when I was doing like a K-pop related thing in Korea, I would look around and I'd be like, hmm, why is everybody here 13? And to be honest, it didn't bother me at the time, but with all of these new groups coming out and everybody's like 15, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh. Like back when I first started liking K-pop, I was like, one of the really big things was like wow they look really good and obviously you get a crush on your favorite or whatever and you think that they're gonna marry you and fall in love with you but it's so hard for me to get into new groups because i want to pick that favorite and i want to pick that crush and when i look at their age and their bio and i'm like you guys are like 10 years old i'm like oh my gosh i can't do this anymore like it's great and they might have catchy music and it's great for younger people but i just i'm 22 years old i can't be looking at 15 year olds like it's not okay so i just my interest just kind of died down a little bit okay and so i feel like i might come up with another reason but maybe not um so this might be my last one but one thing that i realized about just being into k-pop is how expensive it is you know i'm spending all this money on cds and concerts and like trust me i had a great time but it was expensive so i feel like now that i have like student loans to pay off and you know credit card bills and i want to like travel around the world too i just really can't fit spending all that money on concerts and things like that so i feel like that's one of the reasons that i'm not as into k-pop too so yeah, those are just some of the reasons why I'm not as into K-pop as I used to be. Um, another thing is, like, a lot of the times people will ask you, like, Korean people will be like, oh, so what got you interested in Korea? And sometimes I'm like, oh, well, I, you know, fell in love with K-dramas, and then I fell in love with K-pop, and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, some Korean people are like, oh, that's really cool, and some are just like, oh, no, not, a one of, not another one of these people, you know? <laughs> so... I don't know I feel like trust me I still say that answer because I don't think I should be ashamed of it but it just really put into perspective like wow these people are judging me because I got into Korea because of k-pop and k-dramas and so they're probably thinking like all I care about is like coming over here to find like a really hot guy and all this crazy stuff and so in the beginning maybe that's what it was like but like I feel like I've just changed and like after going to Korea like I found new reasons to love Korea that didn't have to do with K-pop. And so again like K-pop will always have a special place in my heart like my baby Daehun will always have a special place in my heart and I will always love them. But after going to Korea and realizing hey there's more to Korea than just K-pop and K-dramas and so I didn't really realize that before I went because that's all I knew. I watched the dramas, I listened to the music and that's what I saw. I was like wow that's Korea. After going, you know, the first time and after seeing what Korea really was like and then going the second time I was like, you know, there's a lot more to Korea than just this and so like I fell in love with the food and the culture and you know, the way Koreans do things and you know, I made like Korean friends and so I feel like after those experiences and you know, having other reasons other than just K-pop and K-dramas to love Korea just kind of, you know, changed i'm doing like the crazy symbol but that's not what i mean um just kind of changed me a little bit so i don't know i don't want to see any hate about me you know being like wow i'm calling k-pop people immature i am not as you can see i still got my k-pop stuff back there okay i've got this towel that young gook threw to me you know when i went to a k-pop concert in korea and i've got my little fan and stuff and back there also i have like a little day hunt stand up i've got all my cds in a place that you can't see so i am not judging anybody for liking k-pop because i liked k-pop i went to k-pop concerts i went to all of that stuff i'm not judging anybody i'm not calling anybody immature that's not what i'm saying i'm saying that i got older and the way i thought changed which i don't think that's a problem because as you get older the way you think changes, right? So that would make sense. When I was 18, I consider myself a kid when I was 18, 19. And so yeah, I was a kid back when I was doing all of the K-pop stuff, but I'm not saying 
that people who still like K-pop into their older ages or immature or anything. Because trust me, when I go to Norebang or karaoke, like I'm still getting down to some of my K-pop songs. Like I don't care. I'm just saying that I'm not, you know, actively going out and trying to go to concerts anymore. And I'm not going to, you know, the fan signs and the radio shows and all of that stuff that I used to do the first time I was in Korea. But again, like if that's what you're doing, like all power to you. Like a part of me wishes I still had time. A part of me wishes that the group that I really, really love was still, you know, at the radio shows and at the stuff doing that because then I might be different about it, but they're not. So I feel like, you know, changing ages and getting older just changed the way I thought. And yeah, that's just, that's just me. So if you are still into K-pop, not a problem. I don't care if you've got some good groups that you'd like me to listen to that, first off, I do have some requirements. I have, they are men. I would like them to at least be 19 or older. So if you got some good groups that you'd like me to listen to, just drop them in the comment section below and I might give them a try. But yeah, as of right now, I'm not really listening to any K-pop except all of the old K-pop that I used to listen to. Um, and yeah, that's about all I have to say. So if you like this video and would like to see more videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Bye!